Hi, this is Kathy Schrock. Mary from your district wrote me a note and asked me to help her find a video clip which talked about the importance of technology professional development for teachers. I felt so strongly about this topic, I decided to make this videotape just for you. Having access to boxes and infrastructure and the internet and many applications will not guarantee that teachers will infuse technology throughout the curriculum. They need to feel comfortable with how to use the computer, how to use the computer effectively in both their personal and professional lives, and how best to use the information literacy skills such as searching and evaluation to find resources to support the curriculum. Once teachers receive the professional development in these areas, they will feel comfortable creating lessons and units that incorporate technology seamlessly, the use of the computer as a tool, which talk about copyright and fair use issues, and include the information literacy skills also. Technology professional development for teachers is imperative if they're going to use it with the students. Thank you. Hello, this is Kathy Schrock, Administrator for Technology for the Nauset Public Schools on Cape Cod. Welcome to my Google Lively Room. I want to talk a bit about classroom innovation. My vision of classroom innovation begins with the teachers feeling comfortable trying new things and being willing to take a risk, both for their own professional growth and for the support of teaching and learning. As Albert Einstein once said, innovation is not the product of logical thought, although the result is tied to logical structure. There must be a plan, but serendipitous discovery and deviation from the plan must be welcomed. Innovation is messy. My role in my district, and in the many places I speak, is to showcase and mentor teachers in the new use of technology and resources. Being the terminally left brain learner, I also give them practical ideas on how these resources can be used to support teaching and learning. However, my role then is to stand back and watch the creative classroom educators come up with innovative ideas that best meet the needs of their students. Innovation requires a basic skill set to start, which I provide for the teachers, but true innovation comes from the hearts of educators themselves. Innovative teachers provide all students with the ability to learn in the ways that they learn best. and welcome to Musings of a Digital Pioneer. I have long bristled at being called a digital immigrant. I did not grow up with technology. It grew up with me, and I was there every step of the way. I think those of us who have been there since the beginning and have adopted each technology as it came about should not be called digital immigrants. I do not turn to the printed manual first, and I always choose reputable Internet sites to locate information. And I do speak the correct language and still do not accept Google as a verb. There are very few technology skills that are foreign to me. I want to be in a third category of technology users called digital pioneers. This group of users grew up as technology grew up. This group of users has mastered both the skills learned from years of technology risk-taking and experimentation and the processes of information and computer literacy and choosing the correct tool for the task. These users are the technology mentors and evangelists in the education field and are very passionate about their topic. They are constantly looking for new and old technologies that will support teaching and learning in a meaningful way, and they always share their findings with others. Many so-called digital immigrants, teachers who came later to the technology arena, are doing a wonderful job infusing technology meaningfully into teaching and learning. These tech-savvy educators are teaching to the current generation of so-called digital natives in ways that support these students' varied learning styles. But please, call me a digital pioneer. <laughs> 